Welcome to another video. A lot of models are being released these days, and now even DeepSeek has released a new model, DeepSeek V 2.5. If you don't know about DeepSeek, it's a company that offers really good coding and general use open source models. The coding model is called DeepSeek Coder, while the general use model is simply called DeepSeek. They are also one of the cheapest models in terms of pricing. The latest version of these models was 2, but now they've released a new model called DeepSeek V 2.5, which is apparently a mixture of both the coder model and the general model. They say that DeepSeek V 2.5 is a powerful combination of DeepSeek V 20628 and DeepSeek Coder V 20724. They also claim it now has enhanced writing capabilities, better instruction following, and improved human preference alignment, which is pretty cool. Basically, this model is now good at both general tasks and coding tasks because it's a combination of both expert models. There are also benchmarks for it, so let's take a look. In almost all the benchmarks, it scores higher than the previous DeepSeek models, which is great. Additionally, this model is a mixture of experts model with a total of 236 billion parameters and an active parameter count of about 21 billion, which is impressive. They've released the open weights for the model on Hugging Face, and it's also available on a Llama. On top of that, you can try it out for free without any limits on the DeepSeek chat platform. So, let's head over there and test it out. I'll be trying it out with these 13 questions. Let's get started and see how it performs. The first question is, what is the capital city of the country whose name ends with Laya? I'm referring to the country name here. The answer should be Canberra or any country capital that rhymes with Laya. Let's send it over and see. Here's the answer, and it's incorrect. So, this one's a fail. Now, the next question is, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be three. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and this is not correct either. So, let's mark this as a fail as well. The next question is, John has three boxes of pencils. Each box contains 12 pencils. How many pencils does John have in total? The answer should be 36. Let's send it. Here's the answer, and this one looks correct. So, let's mark it a pass. The next question is, Lucy has twice as many candies as Mike. If Mike has seven candies, how many candies does Lucy have? The answer should be 14. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and this looks correct. Let's keep this a pass as well. Now the next question is, is 3,307 a prime number? The answer should be yes. So, let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and this is also correct. So, let's keep this a pass as well. Now, the next question is, I have two apples, then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer should be two. Let's send it and check. Here's the answer, and this also looks correct. So, let's keep this a pass. The next question is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The answer should be one. Let's send it over. Here's the answer, and this is obviously incorrect. So, let's mark this a fail. Now the next question is, if a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? The answer should be 73.9. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and this isn't correct. So, Let's mark this as a fail as well. Now, the next questions are coding ones. The first one is, create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti 
when you click it. You can use CSS and JS as well. Let's send it and see. Here's the code. Let's preview it. So, this works fine. Let's keep this a pass. The next question is, create a Python program that prints the next X leap years based on user input. Let's send and check. Here's the code. Let's copy and run it. It's working fine as well. No complaints. Let's keep this a pass as well. Now the next question is, generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Let's send it and see. Here's the generation. Let's preview it. This looks good and very much like a butterfly. Let's keep this a pass. Now the next question is, create a landing page for an AI company. The landing page should have four sections, header, banner, features, and contact us. Make sure the landing page looks sleek and modern. You can use HTML, CSS, and JS. Let's send it and check. Here's the code. Let's preview it. This looks really good. No complaints. Let's keep this a pass. Now the final question is, write a game of life in Python that works in the terminal. Let's send it and check. Here's the code. Let's run it. And it doesn't work. It gives an error. So, let's keep this as a fail. Now, here's the final chart. And as you can see, this is really good. It failed on 5 out of 13 questions, which is fine considering how cheap the inference is. It only costs 30 cents for a million tokens, and it's open source as well. So, if for any reason you want to host it locally, you can do that too. I think DeepSeek was already a cool model, and now it's even better. With this model, you don't have to use different models for coding tasks and other models for general language tasks because it can handle both, which is awesome. Plus, the chat interface that they have is also free and doesn't have any limits, which is also cool if you use chat interfaces. I think this is a great model, and DeepSeek always perform good. Ader has also updated their benchmark with this model, and it's performing really well in that as well, which is also cool. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.